Right, so lesson 94 is writing fractions and decimals as percents, part two. Now we've been doing this for a while, but to change a number to a percent, you just need to multiply that number by 100%. So I'll show you what I mean. So if I have one third, I wanna change that to a percent. What I'm going to do is I'm gonna multiply that by 100%. And since it's a fraction, I'm gonna put it over one. So we're gonna multiply it across, so I get 100% over three, divided by three. So I'm going to divide these two numbers. So I need to divide 100% by three. Okay, so three goes into 10, three times, that's nine. Subtract it, bring down the zero, 10. Three goes into 10 three times. That's nine, I end up with one left over. So I'm gonna keep it as a fraction. So it's gonna be 33 and one third percent. Okay, so on this one, write 1.2 1 as percent. So I'm going to multiply 1.2 times by 100%, 100%. Now we learned the trick where the number of zeros you have tells you how many decimal places you move a decimal to the right when multiplying. So two zeros, going to move it to the right two times. One, two, decimal goes there, and I add a zero. So 1.2 is the same as 120%. Okay, this one is right, 2 and 1 fourth is a percent. So we have 2 and 1 fourth. <clears throat> so on this one, I know that 2 is equal to 200%. Because I have two holes, which means I have two 100%. So now I can just multiply 1 fourth by 100%. So I can do 1 fourth times by 100% over 1. I'm going to cancel. 4 becomes a 1. 100 becomes a 25. So I'm going to have 200% plus 25%, which is equal to 225%. Okay. If you don't want to do it that way, you can do it the other way, <clears throat> where we change 2 and a fourth into a mixed number. So two and one fourth becomes nine fourths and then multiply by 100%. Okay. We cancel out, four becomes a one, 100 becomes a 25. So we do nine times 25. Okay, so nine times five is 45, carry my four. 9 times 2 is 18, plus 4 is 22. So I end up with 225%. Either way works. It's just up to you to decide which way you prefer. Okay. So in this next one, write 2 and 1 6 as the percent. <clears throat> so we can do 200%. We could do 200% plus whatever the percent this one is. This one's not quite as simple. So what we're going to do is we're going to change this to a mixed number. That's 13 sixths and multiply that by 100%. Okay. And I'm going to reduce it by, I know that two goes both into six and into 100. Oops. So six becomes a three and the 100 becomes a 50. Now multiply it across. So I get 13 times 50, which is equal to 13 times 50. 5 times 3 is 5, carry the 1. 5 times 5 is 1, plus 1 is 6. So I end up with 650% divided by 3. So I'm going to divide it. Erase this. 650 divided by 3. 3 goes into 6 two times, that's 6. Subtract it, 0, bring down the 5. 3 goes into 5 once, that's 3. Bring down the 0, subtract it, bring down the 0, that's 20. Okay, move this up just, I moved it up higher, so bring down the 0 and you get 20. 3 goes into 20 6 times. That's 18, subtract, we get 2 left over. So my answer is going to be 
216 and two thirds percent. Okay, on this last one, we have a proportion with it. So 20 of the 30 students on the bus were girls. What percent of the students on the bus were girls? So if I have 20 of the 30 students on the bus were girls, and I want to know what percent it is. So I need to multiply that by 100%. In this case, it's actually not easier to reduce first because I, this way I can make my 100% smaller. So I can reduce the 30 and the 100%. 30 becomes a 3, 100% becomes a 10. So I end up with 20 over 3 multiplied by 10%. So that's equal to 200% divided by 3. Okay, so then I'm going to divide 200 by 3. 3 goes into 20 six times, that's 18. 2 left over, bring down the 0. 3 goes into 20 six times, 18. Sub subtract, end up with 2. So I end up with 66 and 2 thirds percent as my answer. Okay, and that's all. Good luck on your homework.